You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. Today we have a great story to share with you. Um, we get to be artsy. Is that the word? Can I use that word? Creative. Is it okay? Creative. Thank you. That's much better. <laughs> I mean, artsy is fine that's too. this, but that's far more uh, eloquent than artsy. <laughs> uh, so we're going to head over to Concordia Seminary in St. Louis because they have a great creative um, mm-hmm. opportunity, a contest, competition coming up. Yes, very cool. Thanks to Concordia University, Wisconsin for supporting the Coffee Hour. Find out more about Concordia University, Wisconsin at cuw.edu. Live uncommon. So we're getting creative and heading to Concordia Seminary in St. Louis. Joining us today, Erica Bennett, Director of Continuing Education at Concordia Seminary St. Louis. Erica, thanks so much for coming back on the Coffee Hour. Thank you. Glad to be here. Good morning. Also joining us today, Dale Ward, Senior Media Producer for Concordia Seminary St. Louis. Dale, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm looking forward to the conversation. So the Faith and Film Festival has been going on for a couple of years, a few years now at Concordia Seminary, and we've had the privilege of being a part of that, having a lot of fun, Mm -hmm. uh, checking it out on campus, actually being there in person. That was a lot of fun to do that the two years ago and looking forward to it coming up this January uh, I believe, but there's a new element to it, adding some some competition, <laughs> um, a short film festival, a, a contest. Tell us about this, Erica. Sure. So, um, yes, you're correct. Um, the third annual Faith and Film Festival will be the end of January, so January 27th through the 29th. Um, and yes, we've added something new this year, a competition, a fun competition, hopefully, Um, This past January for the second annual film festival, we um, did for the first time, we watched and discussed some short films um, because we knew that we were going to have this contest for the third year. So we wanted to prepare our participants and kind of talk through, um, you know, what it's like to watch and discuss a much shorter film. So... um, June 30th, so that's today, but June 30th um, is the start of the short film contest that will be a part of this year's, this coming year's Faith and Film Festival. So we're talking about short films. What does that actually mean for people who who aren't uh, up up in their <laughs> uh, lingo for the film industry? What What actually constitutes a short film? So short films, and Dale, you can help me out here. Um, short films, the, some of the ones that we watched at the festival last year um, were right around that 10 to 20 minutes. Um, they can be shorter. Is there, uh, Dale, is there a um, maximum length of a film to be considered still a short? I think uh, you get up to an hour, an hour and 10 or 15 minutes. They start calling them features at that time, but they can be, you know, it's like short stories compared to novels. I mean, they sure. can, and, and yes, they can be, there's festivals out there that, that have one minute films, um, which is really mm-hmm. challenging. Actually, uh, we're, we're going with 10 minutes or less, which is a, a pretty good number. A lot of short films run longer than that, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Um, generally, m- most people, I think, try and keep them under 30 just because mm-hmm. if you get up over 30, you're probably, <laughs> you probably need to edit something. Right. <laughs> and a huge budget. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dale, you mentioned trying to, a, a one minute film is much more difficult. And, and I can relate to that mm-hmm. in the work that we do here mm-hmm. at KFUO. But perhaps our listeners don't, un, maybe don't recognize why a one minute film would be more challenging, why a shorter film would be more challenging. We want to elaborate on that. Sure. Well, you you need a little bit of time to set up the, the characters or what the conflict might be. And with one minute, you, you really don't have that. I mean, this is like, again, same with uh, there's what they call flash fiction, which is like a page or so. There's actually, uh, I've seen, um, one sentence contest, I think, mm-hmm. and I'm not sure if it was actually Ernest Hemingway, but I, he's supposedly had come up with a sentence that said, uh, baby shoes for sale, never worn, which encapsulates a whole story in just those few words. So mm-hmm. when you're talking with one one minute, I mean, it's you're, you're really just kind of jumping in and and nailing a thought or, or a visual um, of course, you know, if it's a experimental or, or you know, even a documentary, um, 
it's a little bit easier. But uh, yeah, Andy, you probably know just even interviewing with somebody, a lot of times it takes a minute for an answer to one question. So uh, <laughs> I've done three minute films um, and even that can be challenging uh, because you, you at least have a little bit of time to set up a conflict and resolve it. But uh, I've, I've, whenever I've done that, I've been chopping and chopping and chopping to get it under three minutes, you know, from starting at like five. So yes, it can be a challenge. To engage in an, an audience with a, with a full story in yeah. one minute, or as we do here, sometimes in 30 seconds, mm -hmm. uh, trying to tell a story in 30 seconds to, enough to engage your audience. All right. So enough about all, all the technical details <laughs> that, that all of us creative types like to get into. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk more about the theme. Erica, do you want to tell us about the theme? Uh, sure. We can both speak to this, but um, we decided to have it be a broad theme that perhaps um, means um, something different to different people. So the theme uh, for this first short film contest is the theme of hope. Um, we know we as Christians, you know, hope is a, a huge word for us. And we, you know, know what that means with our hope in Jesus. But we realize that hope isn't necessarily a Christian term for everyone. And so we're keeping it kind of open. Um, so, for example, Dale and I were talking yesterday a little bit about, you know, will there be some short films having to do with being a, in a pandemic and coming out of that on the other side and how there's what hope looks like uh, for the future after a pandemic. So, um, yeah, it's going to just keep it wide open. Um, but, yes, the theme of hope. Dale, do you have any anything to add to that? Yeah, the like she said, it could be, you know, it's wide open. Um, we actually, on the, the first day of opening, we received uh, almost a dozen submissions already. So that's that's uh, encouraging. Um, I haven't seen any of them yet, but I, a couple of the titles, I mean, one sounded like it might be a horror gen genre, um, which might fit, you know, there's, <laughs> if, there's always hope to escape the masked man, you know, so um, it could be played out, however. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to see what, what comes in. That is a very, a, a, a broad uh, theme, but that can certainly lend to a lot of creative uh, license with people who are creating these short films. As you mentioned, a possible horror one, that would be very uh, curious to see what they do with that. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> there's a current film that there is, there's definitely a message of hope in, and it technically falls in the category of horror film. Interesting. In um, A Quiet Place, Quiet, Whoa, quiet sure. Place 1 and 2. There's yeah. there's a message of hope. In, mm -hmm. I, I know it sounds bizarre. Anyway, sorry, carry on. Yes. Sarah's asking a question. <laughs> I had to interject. No, that's okay. That's good. <laughs> and that's, I mean, that's part of what the whole festival is about, too, is to look at various types of movies and how we can communicate the idea of hope to audiences who might not be Christian. Um, and from there, you know, you can even segue then into the Christian hope. So, I mean, that's kind of the, the driving force. So, yes, um, to the, the, the quiet one would be an excellent movie to have and discuss, I think, um, mm -hmm. around a... Uh, no. <laughs> I will not attend that, sorry. <laughs> 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 so what are you actually uh, looking for in these submissions? I know this is a broad theme and the short film category can be can take a, a number of different um, uh, things on. So what are you what are you looking for in submissions? So 10 minutes and uh, we, we're saying um, 18 years or older, but you can always, uh, you know, if you're younger than that and have a great idea, tap into your older brother or your mom, Paul, to help you submit it. Um, it just helps us um, around some of the uh, legalities, I guess. And it could be a documentary. It could be a narrative. It could be experimental. Um, uh, comedy. Send some comedies. <laughs> That's yeah. always good. <laughs> yeah, um, even animation. And, and, yeah, animation. Um, really, the, whatever. Yeah, music video. If you have a right. music video that has to do with hope, send it in. Uh, so, um, the, the, that's really just it. And it, it's free to submit. 
So there's no cost involved. And I mean, I, I'm thinking, you know, if there's a youth group out there that wants to get together and make a film and, you know, have the DCE send that in. I mean, why not? Um, there's probably a sermon video illustrations that a church might have made. And a lot of times there would be hope in the theme. So, yeah. And 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 it's a you know reciprocal because you make something, you can actually use it for other purposes as well. Sure. I was just thinking if we made a documentary of behind the scenes here at KFUO, it would meet two of those genres, documentary (laughs) and comedy all in one. There you go. (laughs) (laughs) Could you keep it to 10 minutes or less, Andy? That's the challenge. Probably not. (laughs) Maybe. It's like a six hour film. Yes. We can (laughs) only sit through that. That's what the editing room is for. That's right. How much is going to be lost on the editing room floor? Um, we're, we want to learn more about the the um, upcoming film contest or the film competition. Is it a competition or a contest? Is there a difference between those terms? Um, I would say contest. Um, contest. But um, yeah, competition. I mean, we want to have healthy competition, right? But you yeah. know, we want to keep it fun and... You know, we want to encourage people to, you know, send in their submissions. Um, also, there's no limit to the number of films one person submits. So if somebody has a couple they want to share on the theme of hope, send them in. Very good. Very good. We're going to learn more about the uh, the contest, the film contest that is part of the Faith and Film Festival at Concordia Seminary in St. Louis. You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. <laughs> You're a miracle. You know that, right? A living, breathing, one-of-a-kind miracle. You were created to stand apart, to share your gifts in the service of others, to make an uncommon impact in a common world. And at Concordia University, it's our mission to help you do that, to live uncommon. To learn more about Concordia, go to cuw.edu. Welcome back to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. We are learning about the film, the short film contest at Concordia Seminary, which is part of the Faith and Film Festival. Uh, that's coming up in January, but the contest is going on now, and uh, I believe so they're open for submissions right now. Is that right, Erica? Yes, that's correct. Very good. So, um, what? Who will be viewing these submissions, uh, the the films that are submitted for this contest? Dale? Well, we have a a panel of judges who will be the the ultimate uh, viewers who will actually rate them. Um, We're doing this through a website called Film Freeway, which makes it very easy to submit. And then it actually connects with the judges or they can view the films and it has an online judging criteria sh- sheet. So so some of the things that uh, we're looking for along those lines would be how does it how does it uh, handle the theme? How does it express the theme? You know, production value, of course, you know, maybe even writing or directing or acting, you know, just, just a typical criteria for uh, judging any kind of film. And then there's also our moderators and those in charge of the film festival who will be watching these too, um, because so there's however many submissions we might get, and that could be from 25 to 250 or more, who knows? Uh, mm-hmm. It's the first time we've done this, but uh, I, I know that we're going to have four selected as uh, finalists, and those four will be uh, shown on a big screen here at Warner Auditorium during the festival. So that's kind of a big deal. But if we get you know, we might get 20, 30, 40 really good movies, uh, and we want to make those available too. That, like I said before, if churches want to use these for sermon illustration or something, that's certainly something we want to look into is providing these as resources to our, the churches out there. So how are, how are the judges going to narrow down to just four? That seems like a, a bit of a monumental task. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have seven judges 
And as I said, they, they rate um, uh, about 10 different categories from one to 10. And so, I mean, I'm sure it'll, it'll be close. Exactly. Um, but uh, you know, if one, if one just really knocks your socks off, you're going to give it tens um, compared to one that's really good, but only a nine. So, I mean, it will come down to numbers, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. Erica, how does this play a role in the Faith and Film Festival that takes place each year in January at Concordia Seminary? Um, sure. Do you mean as far as, you know, where it's going to fit into the festival and that sort right. of thing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, so we actually, um, you'll remember from the past years that we've done the film festival, we have certain films that we're calling feature films that the whole group, all the participants watch together on the big screen in, in Warner Auditorium. But then in addition to that, we have breakout times where people can ahead of time when they register select um, different uh, movies that they want to talk about and uh, watch together. Um, So in addition to that, we will have the short films. The four finalists will be shown, as Dale said, on the big screen. And those, the time we've slotted on the schedule is that Friday afternoon, January 28th, after lunchtime. We'll all get together in the auditorium and those will be watched by everyone. For listeners not familiar with the Faith and Film Festival, give us just kind of the, I don't know, the the brief overview of who participates in, and, and what happens at the Faith and Film Festival and what we walk away with. Sure. So um, as I mentioned, um, at registration, uh, which won't be up until uh, probably this fall, um, probably October, I think we are talking about, um, you'll go to register on our website, um, csl.edu. And like some of our other big events in Continuing Ed, you'll get to select um, what films you want to watch and talk about. Um, And as uh, Dale said, each film uh, will watch it together, the ones that they've selected. And then we have a moderator um, who will then lead the discussion. Um, And some of our moderators in the past, and this will continue, um, have been um, some of our own faculty that are really interested in films. We have our resident Christ in Films um, faculty member, Dave Lewis, um, that has always wanted to have a film festival on campus. And so he was really excited when we were able to make that happen a couple of years ago. Um, We have Tim Seleska, who's also on our faculty, uh, Travis Scholl, who's in charge of um, the Concordia Journal and all of our um, Concordia Seminary Press publications. Um, But in addition to that, we've got uh, various pastors and film critics and different people involved in pulling out Christian themes and films. So those are our moderators. But then we're also every year we have more presenters. Um, This year we're um, doing something kind of cool where we're going to have some presentations by some different people um, whose craft is in the film industry, um, whether it be... um, somebody that might come and talk about how music plays a role and is selected in movies, um, or another person um, may come and talk about uh, lighting that's done in movies. So we're really broadening um, our scope um, to have a little something for everyone. But what will happen when they come to the actual festival is um, we'll kick it off the first night, um, the first day, that Thursday, um, all together in the auditorium, as I mentioned, and we'll watch one film together and discuss it. And then throughout the festival, throughout the three days, we will come together. We will then break and, as I said, watch movies that people have registered to watch. Um, We'll have those in small groups throughout the campus. And then we'll also meet together um, for meals, um, happy hour, a lunch, um, coffee, that sort of thing to, um, have some more one-on-one discussions, um, with each other. Now, will, will there be a, a fan favorite of these four finalists or is that, is that the like upper, uh, limit of how far these short films are going to go? You know, we yep. talked about that a lot. Dale, do you want to speak to that? 
Well, that's a great idea. We haven't yeah. really nailed anything down uh, no. along those lines yet, but um, that would definitely be great. And, and another part of this, too, is, as Erica was speaking to, um, we hope to have Q&A with the short filmmakers so that you right. can, you know, you watch a 10 minute film and you can really ask some questions. Last year we had uh, Sharon Wright. Uh, she's a filmmaker in L.A. and we showed her film and then we discussed it with her. And uh, it was just it's just so nice to. It was a short film. You're, you're usually talking with a small crew. So the director or the writer, which she was actually both, I mean, you can ask some really pointed questions and come up with the answers. She's actually going to be a judge this year. Uh, so we do have, uh, to speaking to your question earlier about the judges, we have a, a wide, diverse uh, group of judges, too. So hopefully mm -hmm. that'll help with um, making decisions a little bit easier. We do have the, two of the seminary professors. Uh, we have Sharon Wright. We have a critic that writes on from L.A. with the uh, We Are Movie Geeks uh, site. Mm -hmm. And we also have uh, a producer, from a couple of producers from St. Louis and one who is a, a film instructor um, outside of the seminary. So, yeah, we got a pretty good group. I, I'm really excited to see what they'll have to say. Right. And speaking to the last question um, also, you know, we are going to just have the four finalists, but it might be kind of fun, Dale. Um, may we talk about it with the committee to do some type of a, a fan favorite at the end? Maybe, you know, um, I think we've all been to um, events where, oh, let's see with a show of hands, you know, and who's ever, you know, whichever movie gets clapped the loudest. I don't know. We could make it fun. <laughs> um, but definitely. No, that's a, that's a like great idea. We can bring in. We can just have, pass out a piece of paper with the four names on there and people right. check off their favorite and we collect them and we can tally them up right there. Yeah, right. that's a great idea. Thank yeah, you, Sarah. Yeah, I like it. I'm <laughs> going to make a note of that. Thank you, guys. <laughs> creativity happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> so speaking of creativity and, and creating these films, where can uh, – where can participants find um, inspiration for how to create a short film for this contest? Oh, wow. I'm going to let Dale talk to that one <laughs> since he's done short films. Well, there's, I mean, really the ideas are anywhere, but if you really mm -hmm. want to start somewhere, I mean, look at uh, the parables of Jesus. A lot of those have hope in them and you can uh, spin the parables in a way that uh, will express hope. Um, even a documentary. Um, I did a short one time, there was some local flooding and a restaurant got flooded and I just went and talked to the guy they'd rebuilt. They were starting over again and they got hit by another flood. Oh. So, you know, he, but he was there with hope. Uh, so everybody has a story. Even just talk to people in your church, talk mm -hmm. to your family um, at, and that's ask around. You'll find why people hope, what keeps them hopeful. And there's your story right there. Where can we find the details? What do participants need to know in order to submit uh, a film for this contest? Absolutely. Um, well, there's two places. Um, of course, people can f uh, first and foremost go to um, our website, csl.edu backslash resources. And one of the resources is continuing education. The Faith and Film Festival is the very first um, resource under the continuing education category. So that's pretty easy to find. And there's information um, and links for the short film contest there. Um, other people could also go directly to, as Dale mentioned, filmfreeway.com and backslash Faith and Film Festival. So either way, um, they'll get to all the rules and how to enter and um, send in their submissions. And what are the, the key dates we need to know? Submissions are open now, correct? Sure. Yes. Um, yes. Submissions are open. Yes. And the, the deadline is October 15th, 2021. So you okay. have uh, all summer and a couple of months to get those films in. And then there will be the, the four will be selected by December 15th. And, uh, so that's when we'll be judging them, and then they'll show in January. Now, you re remember, you don't need a big fancy camera or anything. We haven't no. mentioned that, but um, there are so many good films today produced with your phone. Uh, it's incredible. I mean, when I first started, you did have to have a big expensive camera. But phones, uh, yeah, grab your phone and go make a movie. 
Hmm. Yeah, I was um, mentioning to Dale yesterday, I have a 18 year old son and him and his friends, you know, goof around all the time with their phones making movies. And I was like, but that'd be nothing to put in the short film contest. And Dale's like, why not? I'm like, oh, well, he is 18. So, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. And, and welcoming participants um, from all over, yes. it sounds like. Um, what about uh, any other rules we need to know? I know that all the rules will be listed on the website as well. Anything else, Dale, that we need to know in terms of details or, or rules, that sort of thing? Well, we did have a question today about... Uh, uh, foreign language or international mm -hmm. films, and those are welcome too. We do ask that there would be English subtitles uh, where where needed. If there's a, right. if there's something you don't want us to know what they're saying, then you don't need the subtitles. But um, uh, definitely, it can be from anywhere. Yeah, it's it's great. Oh, another um, another thing to note, um, Andy and Sarah, is we do um, have in the rules that the short film be produced after January 31st, 2017. Um, so we want to have them a little newer. I mean, that's four years ago. Is that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, anything after 2017. Very good. Very good. Well, you can, uh, we'll share the links in the, the program notes today as well. Our guest today, Erica Bennett, Director of Continuing Education at Concordia Seminary in St. Louis. Erica, thanks so much for being our guest. Thank you. It was good to be here again. Dale Ward, Senior Media Producer for Concordia Seminary, St. Louis. Dale, thanks so much for being our guest on the Coffee Hour. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Send in those movies. It's free. Did I mention that? <laughs> it's free. Very good. Yay. You've been listening to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. The Coffee Hour with Andy and Sarah is a production of KFUO. To support the Coffee Hour and KFUO Radio, visit KFUO.org. You can also text KFUO to 41444 or send an email to gifts at KFUO.org. And you can call us at 800-844-0524. KFUO. Christ for you anytime, anywhere. Anywhere.